So in today's video, we are going to be looking at some of the weirdest, cringiest, funniest, and most outrageous texts people are sent to each other on dating apps like Tinder. So we've got a bunch of them compiled out here, so let's go ahead and check them out. They're from Reddit, so yeah, let's go and see what we have here. So number one, is this a red flag in texting, text messaging? I'm talking to a guy from Tinder and the conversation started so normal and was doing so great. And I thought, oh wow, I could totally see myself possibly meeting this guy for once. He doesn't live far from me. We exchanged IG profiles and started speaking on there. Since the conversations are just are giving me the ick and I don't know if I'm being over dramatic. I've been a few days of exchanging conversations. First of all, he seems to want to speak to me all the time, which can be a good thing, but he questions absolutely everything that I'm doing in my day. I met a friend and he was asking who she was, how long I'd known her for, what were we up to and where were we going. It seemed a bit intrusive for someone who just started messaging me a couple of days beforehand. Fair enough. Then I sat at home watching TV with my parents and he's asking again what I'm doing at that very moment, questioning what I'm doing the next day and my plans over and over. Like every hour, what am I doing, who I'm with. I left my phone for two hours and didn't reply to this message and I apologized as I was getting ready to go out for a walk and he was like, Oh, I thought you might have you or oh, oh wait no, I thought you might have gone out of something that's why I didn't reply. And he seems defensive over me for no reason. I didn't even know him, I know I've not even met him in person. Then he asked for my Snapchat so he could send pictures and I said I don't want to do that. I don't use Snapchat often, that's why anymore. He was like, Oh, so you don't send pictures? I was like, Nope. And he said, Well that's why I asked for your Snapchat. And he keeps telling me he's going to buy things like hoodies and stuff. He's apparently on holiday at the moment. And he keeps sending me messages with wing faces. I bet I'll t uh, you'll take my hoodie soon and stuff. Making me feel a bit... Oh, that is that's kind of cringe. I'm not going to lie. Then he keeps asking to meet him soon. And I've got stuff planned beforehand that I've planned for months in advance. And I can't cancel for him. I've already told him and he keeps probing about it. Literally, I've only spoken to him once spoken to him for a few days and he's going about it as if I'm his girlfriend that I need to make plans with him instead. He's giving me signs that he's controlling. Also when I'm uncomfortable with conversation subjects that he brings up, he keeps bringing this conversation subject back up later, despite me saying that I don't want to talk about that particular subject. Am I being too dramatic? Personally, I don't think so. I think it's pretty valid reasons. You're trying to set the boundary but this guy's not really um, getting the idea of that. So typically, this guy seems to not have too much female attention to begin with, um, you know, because that just makes more sense. So when a female does talk to him, he kind of goes a bit like overboard with it. So it does make sense. I definitely would just, you know, tell him, listen, man, listen, John, stay away or don't talk to me. Don't send me so many texts. Let's see what the comments say for this. So this guy says, nope, follow your gut and bail on this dude. Way too cl clingy and possessive runaway and do not meet in person or give him your address. I could not agree with this anymore. Reminds me of someone I dated that turned out quite nasty. Your guide exists for a reason. Stay safe. If he's overbearing now, imagine if they were dating. Like I said before, you could either meet up with him or you could just set, set the boundary from beforehand or you could just tell him, yeah, this isn't working out. On to the next person. Talking about moving on to the next thing, let's check out this DM. He has me deleting and reinstalling this app in a buy. We match every time. You've got to stop meeting like this. It's getting a bit ridiculous to be, f be fair. But like those exes, you know, you know the ones who keep meeting up even though they shouldn't. Ah ha ha. The ones that aren't actually compatible but are really attracted to each other. Exactly. It's just us. How long do you think before we have this time before you disappear until we reconnect again? So romantic. Unsure I might stick around for the weekend. A whole weekend. We never made, made it that far before. I won't make any promises though. That's almost the most accurate use of that emoji I've ever had and that opportunity to use it. See, this is what I like about you. You're unpredictable. It's actually my favorite emoji. I probs overuse it, to, to be honest. I'm starting to use them. I'm actually very predictable. You know I'll end up coming back and we, we bo we'll both swipe right. That's kind of romantic. I'm not going to lie, but um, yeah. So, <laughs> damn, that's so true. I actually got a notification on my phone. It just said X liked you. Swipe to see if it's a match. And it shows you that blurry picture because it wants you to pay me who it is but i was like no i know who it is haha <laughs> see even your phone knows the likelihood of us matching now it's just who we are we can't just stay away from i'll tell you how i see this playing out later on maybe keep doing this for about six months just back and forth matching anytime i remake an account until one of us starts seeing someone else 
radio silence for a year, both wondering what the other was doing. Then, the, then that relationship ends. We match again, talk, still don't meet up. After one gets into a relationship, same thing happens. That sounds a bit toxic, I'm not gonna lie. Why are you already assuming you're gonna break up in the next relationship? 45 and decide we should actually meet up and live happily. I'm not gonna lie. I half thought you were gonna say, I'll tell you how this is gonna play out and then delete your account. And now it's gonna be like, damn, I respect the commitment, but also, yes, I think you nailed it. Damn, that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, you missed the moment. Ugh, oh, I'm devastated. I'm heartbroken for you. I think you're right. I think it's cute that we keep matching though. It's our destiny. You actually show up on my suggestions on Snapchat the other day because you have my contacts. And I was suddenly hit, hit with all the memories we had together. Those wee haze and two sentence conversation. It's a real life love story. Someone to write a song about us. The time you gave me a number and then vanished from my entire life after a single text heartbroken emoji. This is like a proper sitcom rom-com movie we can pick a ring out on the first date and then he's like oh it was the first date i don't know if you're allowed to meet in person let's not get ahead of ourselves okay so they, okay so they got each other's numbers i'm curious it's like full on so they both are kind of in each other's wavelength which is pretty good i think it's pretty funny and if they do end up you know meeting liking each other in person and um oh, i hope things go well because that'd be one hell of a story to tell one day to the future generations this person's family so i think it's pretty cool match with this guy he kept trying to sexualize things with gross pics despite me telling him i want to go slow what <laughs> oh why does why does why do guys do this man ever heard of a belt do you like my thighs what the fuck why is he sitting in his boxers with his pants down that's crazy who the fuck says do you like my thighs that's that's nuts man <laughs> that's actually crazy oh my god how are you doing otherwise is a dick pic pick up splooge on his hand um yeah sorry but i don't think i'm interested anymore hope you found what you're looking for though but thanks i lost interest already but thanks again what a what a scum what a what a scumbag man what a scumbag <laughs> how are you doing leading to a dick pic is actually crazy <laughs> that's outrageous how often do you message someone i've been chatting for this girl about a week now but i don't particularly enjoy texting in general so i'm trying to space out how much i do it she texts back instantly every single time Will she be expecting me to text her at the same frequency rather than two to three hour gaps I tend to leave in between? We plan to meet up soon, but I have COVID at the moment. So that puts things on a break. I just worry that after all the paragraphs of text we've exchanged, we'll have nothing to talk about next week when we see each other. But I also worry she's going to think I'm playing games. I'm not. I just don't enjoy being glued to my phone all day. I'd, I'd just say, I, you know, I've got COVID right now. Um, I don't sit on my phone all day. But uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you soon. Then just kind of keep it like... Texting is meant for like planning this stuff, right? So you wouldn't want to talk too much out then. Just go, and, go on the date and then talk out there, I'd say. But my friend asked me how the dating scene is going. Sounds good. See you soon. Hey, thanks for planning the date yesterday. But I don't think this is going to work out. Will work out. I hope you find what you're looking for. Um, oh, um, okay, tell me why. I paid for everything and you belly ate and of your food and i'm the problem friend i got a small appetizer for like 12 dollars since i wasn't even hungry not sure why i bring bringing up paying for it as if even a big deal and maybe the reason the last three goals you went out with bailed on you is because you're a raging alcoholic i'm sure chugging four large beers in 30 minutes is impressive to your bros but then proceeding to get loud at the dinner slamming the table and being all and being all around obvious isn't exactly attractive obnoxious or beers isn't even that much how about you learn to have some fucking fun psycho bitch okay bye yeah yeah fuck you bye bye hope you find what you're looking for with a with a wolf emoji yeah so that's kind of a scummy of him man like she just said thanked him for the dinner and uh she said you know i hope what you're looking for you'd get the hint stop making a big deal out of it just say okay cool totally cool not an issue or um, you know wish the best of luck have a great day and call it a day man like you don't have to you don't have to be a dick about it dude hang on now are you telling me women aren't impressed when i shotgun a couple brewskis and crush the cans on my head on dates but i pay for the drinks myself though don't forget to ramble on about the access too i'm sure that's sarcasm right now but okay i hate when women do this to me beginning of a date it's so awkward yeah i don't miss chat at all i mean he had a huge cock <laughs> with an animal in bed but he was sort of a jerk and that's why we broke up okay match with this goal we have an hour-long convo about music and end with plans to meet on wednesday and then this note the convo ends at 11 30 pm so i thought it was a wrap up since it's weekday and then i get this for leaving on red at 1 30 am even though our last chat was mutual over lol 
Then she proceeded to complain about me leaving her on red for a while and I kept on repeating it's fine. If she wanted to move on, she hated that. It's almost like she wanted me to argue or something. You know, just something casual. Yeah, see if you vibe. Be free sometime on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, I'll text you when I get off work. Wednesday, we'll arrange something. Oh jeez, I can't even continue a convo. What? I thought we made plan. Uh, I thought we concluded there were convo. I made plans for Wednesday. Okay, we had a good chat, did we not? Yeah. What's up? What's up, lol? If you're feeling off, you can talk. No, I'm good. You sure? I'd like to clear up anything. There's anything? Oh no, thank you. Okay, have a good night. We'll text Wednesday if not before. No, we won't. Skull emoji. So, are you upset? What happened, lol? I'm not upset. Okay, I'm just one show how we went from a decent convo and plans to this text and not wanting to hang out anymore. But you allowed to change your opinion, and I respect it. I'm just not gonna hang out at the complete stranger. He li literally left me on red, bro. She's taking this way too seriously. We made plans. How do I leave? How do I leave you on red? It was a proper ending to a good convo. I'm sorry you took it another way, but this wasn't the intention. I could go on and on about how you did this or that, but it's not worth it. We made plans, and that's all. And that's all that's interested in you. Interested you? Nothing else passed that. We talked about music, then made plans at 11:30 p.m. I assumed it was good night. Did he say that? Where was that implied? Why would I be talking to you right now if I was leaving you on red? Again, girl, I'm no longer interested. This, I said I'll text you next time. Alright, we can't force anyone. I'm so confused to what happened. I think, so, was she angry that she... He or she didn't say goodnight to her before she slept to imply the conversation has ended? Like, I don't know why she's angry though. <laughs> so, yeah, she seems like a red flag, I'm not gonna lie. So, it's probably a good thing you aren't meeting her in person. She seems like a lot moving on is there any good or bad reason to text versus using apps chat also would you want to work in text or snap anything yours good too just figure it out offer yours better for me now can we chat in text instead it's easier for us to get to know each other you know there's nothing too bad about it just not a big deal it's only your phone number god damn it people these problems i guess some are acceptable but some are just kind of like you know not that big of a deal you know just quit making it such a big thing the aftermath of my first tinder date after a year out of the game make it home okay almost yes just got off at the bus stop got a buy to give my friend's house who's gonna house it for me a spare set of keys ah oh, dolphin been there a few times when i live down that way don't get stabbed lol i'll try to do my best yeah dolphin is pretty much dive bar final boss but i'm a degenerate so i go there often did you have a good time yes i had a great time thank you definitely want to set set up something for when i get back if you're on board gotcha i did have a good time but want to want to be up friend as possible is he getting friend zone up front okay i want to be up front as possible i hope this doesn't make me sound like an asshole because that's truly not my intention uh and please call me on I shit if I'm off base regardless, I never really dated black guys that much and when I matched with you I thought hey he looks like he, we could really hit it off and I got curious to see. Yo, where is this going Lamar? <laughs> <laughs> and I decided to give it a try and see how we would work and I think we did vibe. Come on a friend vibration if that I really hope you understand this is something brand new for me and I definitely want to keep in touch. Bro I and appreciate if you aren't into me but i'm not a racial guinea pig <laughs> that's crazy that is act actually crazy you agreed to meet up with me because you wanted to try a black person i hope you can appreciate how wild that that's outrageous oh my god try a black person is crazy in no way am i racist i see this is why i was asked you to bring it up i just wanted to be upfront and tell you how I see things moving forward, hesitant, wow, typo. Lama, I didn't say you were racist, but you could be more tactful, or to be honest, you could have just said sorry, we're not a match. I've, I've done that plenty of times. I've lived with and around black people my whole life, so please, okay. So please, don't get the idea that I'm some racist. I think it's acceptable to have preferences, and if you're not about on the same page about that with a white man emoji right there, please miss me with my best, with, with, no, please miss me with the, with, Oh my best friend. Okay, that is that's bad English, man. With my best friend is black tall. You didn't have to bring that all up. And like we are, we were talking about radical honesty in the gay community. I feel like we should be able to give and receive feedback with an open mind and heart. Feedback, huh? Yes, feedback. Your feedback is that you don't want to date me because I'm black. Literally, how would you respond? How would you like me to respond to that? Laughing emoji to your feedback is that you don't want to date me because I'm black, literally how Yeah, I'm seeing 
more and more that may have dodged bullet. Leave it to a dash type to make it all about race. Betty a dash poster to make it all about race. You made it all about race. Fam, you, <laughs> fam, you really are rude and also apparently psychotic. And that's not the vibe I got from you three minutes ago. Also, what the fuck is this um, type bullshit and this how to support, you know, insult in the first place? Just please leave me the fuck alone and lose my number. I brought up in position and how are you attacking me for a periodic? To be honest, I'm with the black guy. There's no reason to, you know, just bring up the race. You could just say, yeah, I don't, I'm not really feeling it, but I'd love to be friends if you. So yeah, I, I, I kind of agree. Like it's kind of, it's kind of messed up, kind of weird to say. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm kind of the black person out here. I never thought I'd say anything disposable. Best of luck to you, baby girl. Don't let the Confederate ass on the way. That's crazy. And for the record, I said continue talking and try to be friends, but you ruined it. Lol, die in a fucking fire. You trigger our word. You too, honey pot. <laughs> No, shout out to the black person out here, dude. Shout out to the black person. <laughs> Yo, where this, is, where this is going had me rolling. That was that was pretty funny. Why are men like this? Well, let me tell you that. I want to see the craft maker. You'll have an opportunity tomorrow, law. Good morning. Have you thought about a new plan for tonight? Just so I can arrange my day properly. Hey, I've been busy all day with my brother. Came this morning and golfing. Nice. Oh, okay, glad. Got you to spend time with your brother. But, but some communication would have been appreciated. So after spending... I'm with my brother this week and I realize you want immediate communication. I just don't think we were at the point to even make each other a priority. Just saying. I don't need to be I don't need immediate but considering we were supposed to have plans is basic common decency to respond to that. There was no apology that he just didn't say anything at all. Just a simple statement. That's true. That's true. Like I agree with the person who's who's sending the text. Like you just gotta say, Hey listen man, something came up. Um I hope you can reschedule. I know we had plans. I apologize. Um, take a, I take full ownership of that. So um, yeah, let, let's reschedule to X and Y date. Come on, man! Like dating in 2024, is so freaking weird that like always there's always some ulterior motive. If you don't text back on time, then 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 you know we 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 are done. Or if you if you text uh, if you don't tell me what you're doing every single day, then you're freaking um you know, you're dumb or something. Like if you had plans, just tell the person you had plans and. You, I have to cancel because something came up. It's not that big of a deal, guys. Come on. First day back on Tinder, and this is how it's going. Yo, yo. Good morning. How's going? Wanna hang? Yes, I'm free. I stay on. Do you have any food? Are you able to pick me up? Love how my place caught on fire. So is yours. Wait, when how? Through blood and ash everywhere. I don't think you want to be here. People don't like me. They've been robbing me and harassing me. Who? And now they send an apartment of my friends and family. But I've been asking why for years, bro. I'm confused to see. I'm so confused to see what like what just happened there. So anyone else lost interest in people? shit like this hey it's it from bumble but oh, thank god it's not a green bubble what's wrong with keen isn't it just the same lol interesting oh blue message is a rarity in utah i don't know i just hate the green one so much doesn't really matter good follow-up text to send so baby keem and kendrick though so i forgot when are you back in town i'm back tomorrow night nice coffee thursday at 1 of 1 of 4 a.m then 10 15 oh clow hey sorry i got yesterday super late from miami how's your day going welcome i took a nap lol come here to you all about it looks like ugly mugs close that's six if you're down we can meet up down i'm still at the office with the image until when i just got home are you free over the weekend saturday i'm free after seven and on saturday at 9 50 a.m hey if you're not at the office and i would you want to meet me uptown and that was the last text ever sent yeah if she wants it she wants it. no that's the thing if she wants it she wants it they're not gonna play hard to get hey if they're not interested so that's unfortunate but that's the name of the game in 2024 so comment down below guys which guy, which one you think was the most interesting and the most saucy and the most outrageous one i personally think the black one is absolutely crazy that entire story was mad but leave a like subscribe to the channel it really helps me out subscribe so we can hit 200k by 2026 so i'll see you guys tomorrow and yeah bye, -bye.